Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back to another kicking novel review. Yeah, you know I'm doing the Project Nemesis series, and I should have done this book first, but I didn't actually know it was part of the Project Nemesis series. I thought it was just one of his other works. Island 731, and it's technically the zero book in the Project Nemesis saga. Uh, you can read Project Nemesis without reading Island 731, but definitely do not read Project Maigo, and definitely don't read Project 731. Onward, and etc. If you don't read Island 731, because lots of the characters in Project Maigo Forward are from, you guessed it, Island 731 by one of my new favorite authors, Jeremy Robinson. So it's about this boat that's studying this garbage patch in the Pacific, and that boat kind of gets... Uh, not exactly wrecked, but taken to this island during a storm. And then the uh, island is full of genetically manipulated monsters that the Japanese made in World War II and onward. Uh, and it's got some great creatures like a crocodile with squid tentacles that come out of its mouth and it has Komodo dragon saliva so it can like give you an infection and stuff. Really cool. Uh, it's got sne sea snakes with Draco lizard legs and functioning wings. Uh, very, very interesting creatures in the book. There's even one called Kaiju, because Kaiju doesn't actually mean giant monster. Dai Kaiju means giant strange beast, and Kaiju just means strange beast, so Kaiju can be more people-sized. People don't think about that, but it's true. Dai Kaiju is actually the giant one. But, uh, it was quite good. Jeremy Robinson is great. I like the relationship. There's like this budding relationship between the male and female leads, and it's not really sexual at all, which I like. It's a very emotional relationship. Uh, and it's, the author doesn't make you feel like it's all about sex. And he's not one of those authors that's constantly describing how attractive his female characters are, which I hate. It's very sexist. And it takes you out of what's happening in the book. Uh, so yeah, you know, Jimmy Robinson, he can write. This book has a lot of great moments and several twists. Many of which I did not see coming. I saw one coming out of several. This book is a roller coaster. Quite a roller coaster. I read it on my vacation because quarantine and I couldn't do anything. All I could do was drive to my family's beach condo and then just sit in it and order in food. So perfect time to finish a book, right? Well, I did, and Island 731 is a must-read. And if you're going to read Project Nemesis, which I know lots of people on this channel are, because this is a kaiju-heavy channel, remember to read Island 731 first. Audible also has a great audiobook, which I've listened to. Uh, very, very good stuff. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And uh, I will be seeing you again. I will absolutely be seeing you again for um, Project 731, which is kind of a sequel to this and Project Mygo. So I'll see you then.